Good morning, good morning, first grade. For today's math lesson, we're going to work for Team Unstoppable. Team, can you turn your math books to page 295? Now, for today's for math, we're going to basically work on solving two-digit subtraction and addition problems. And also, we're gonna, you're going to be able to demonstrate the value of money, identifying the different coins. Okay? So, let's look at number one. So, number one is 18 plus 22. Now, make sure you pay attention to the signs. So you don't get the problem wrong, okay? This is an addition problem. All right, start in one's place, eight plus two. As we all know, the answer is 10. You wanna go over there? Okay, let's go to the 10's place. What is one plus one? What is one plus one? That is two. Next, two, keep two in your mind. Two plus two, what is two plus two? What do you think that answer is? That is four. Two plus two is four. So 18 plus 22, that answer is 40. So when you work on number one, make sure you pay attention to the signs, whether it's addition problem or subtraction problem. Now let's move on to number two. Number two wants us to count by fives to fill in the missing numbers. Notice this chart, we, each, we progress in highlighting the chart, the numbers, this is dealing with the full hundreds. Soon, hopefully, we can make it to the thousands, hopefully. Okay? All right, let's begin with that chart. First, I'm right here on this board. All right, let's begin. Notice, we all we have to do is fill in, count them by fives. So let's begin with the chart. We have 451, 452, 453, 454, 455. This will be 455, 456, 457, 458, 459. And what goes here after 459? 460. And we're going to work on the next row together as well. 461, 462, 463, 464, 465, 466, 467, 468, 469, and lastly, 470, okay? So you're basically just filling the missing numbers by fives. So make sure you complete the rest of that chart. Okay, so for number... To agree, I'm sorry, ask us how many cents. That's something we have. We have a dime is worth 10 cents. We have one penny and one nickel is worth 5 cents. We have a quarter, which is 25 cents. And we have a penny. Now, we have to add these coins to figure out how many cents. Now, here's a hint. Well, here's a clue or hint that Mr. Cole used when he was younger to try to add coins. Notice, they're in a different set of amounts. So you have different sizes of coins, amount of coins. So let's start off with the biggest coin. The biggest amount is a quarter. And try to make this easy, okay? So here we have 25, and then we're going to add the 5, okay? 25 plus 5. What is 25 plus 5? What do you think? 25 plus 5 is 30. So I'm going to press slash here. That means we use those coins already. 30. Let's go over to the dime, okay? What is 30 plus 10? What is 30 plus 10? That is 40. Now it's a little bit easier now. Now let's add the two pennies. 40 plus 1 is 41. And 41 plus the other one is 42. Okay? So we deal with coins, mix the different amounts, like for example, a dime here, penny, nickel, quarter, penny. Try to start with the bigger amount first. Like I did with a quarter, and then you work your way through. Okay? Let's flip the page over to 296. Okay, now, if you flip the page over, it says you want to color. Let's look at number one. It says color the even number of raindrops, dark blue. How many even raindrops? So then again, I put the odd numbers. We're going to start off with the even. Because I just put the odd on the board. We're going to start with the even first. So first, you have to know what the odd, I'm sorry, the even numbers are. As you know, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Now, I wrote a few numbers on the board, and I'm going to circle the ones that are even numbers, okay? First, look at 102. Remember, you always look at the digit in the ones place. Always look at that digit in the ones place. As we see, 2 is an even number, so I'm going to circle this. Let's look at 133. 3 is not an even number, so I'll leave that alone. Go over to 88. 8. This 8 in one place is an even number, so I'll circle that. And let's go over to 7. 7 is not an even number, so I'll leave it alone. 
So we got an idea what the even numbers are. So you're going to color the even numbers for this problem, the even raindrops, dark blue. Then they ask you how many even number raindrops. So how many raindrops did you color dark blue? You're going to write that answer. Okay. Now let's go over to this number two. Ask them about our odd numbers. Let's identify our odd numbers. Now let's identify our odd numbers. And as we know, take one more look one more time. These are even numbers. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And we're going to be looking to just go over one more time. The digit in the ones place. And I circle those because those are even numbers. So let's go over the odd numbers. Okay, here we have our odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So let's look at the digit in the ones place. 7. That's an odd number. So I'll circle that. 154. 4 is not an odd number, so I'll leave that alone. Let's get 36. 6 is not an odd number, but let's move on to 117. That's 7. That is an odd number, so I'll circle that. So since we're able to identify odd numbers, that's, we should be able to work with number 2. Number 2 says color the odd number raindrops light blue. So remember, the even are dark blue, and then the odd are light blue. Then the second part says how many odd number raindrops. So how many light blue raindrops that you do have, you'll write the answer there. And number three says color the umbrella red. And number four, ask us to color the picture.